good afternoon. We are live. Although I did a lot of thinking, people, and I'm not going to do a live interview with anybody. I'll do a pre recorded interview that will then go live. And there's some reasons why. Because number one, Square has some stuff going on that most of you, some of you at least, a lot of you, should be aware of. And uh, I'm just not risking letting anyone on up to my strength. Like, my, mm, I, I'm scared that I, I'll let somebody up here and they'll do something like they did before. Even though it's herbal, as cool as I've tried to be with herbal. You know, so I just think it'd be better off that I sat down and I wrote down all the possible questions that I could think. And yes, I'm talking about questions that I wouldn't even like to answer or wouldn't, you know, or might be embarrassing or a little on the spot. I, I've written them all down and I am prepared to interview myself and answer these questions and then say my end message and that'd be it after that i plan to if, if i ever go live it'll be for a chill stream or something I'm not uh look mc i ain't got no issues with you dude i wish you nothing but happiness with you and your family you've said a lot of things and uh, been obsessed with me now for a while. And I, I really would appreciate it if you'd stop it, but I, I can't make you do anything, man. So you're going to do what you want to do. Um, so the first big question everybody wants to know, are you, or have you ever been a drug addict? Yes, I was past tense, was a drug addict. The way it started was I got addicted to opioid pills through being prescribed them for legitimate purposes. When I suffered my wreck, I didn't just break my femur. I also, while in the ER, I suffered a myocardial infarction, which caused part of my muscle to die in my right leg, which is why you guys really don't see videos of me. But uh, if you see videos and you ever watch me walk, I walk weird or I walk with a, a gimp, a limp, whatever you want to call it. It's only been a year now that I haven't herbal if you behave and stuff and everything and give me time, I might drop the link and let you ask some questions. But I'm scared one of y'all are going to come up here and y'all are going to say something that you know can't be said on my social media or whatever or to ruin my stream. And I'm not like, I, I, I'm really going to have to think about it. I'm damn sure not letting the guy that I just watched somebody say this morning on Iceman's stream that. PD would have me crying within a few minutes because no, he won't. Uh, I just look at it as pathetic. The fact that people want to make fun of and say like Iceman said that, uh, that it looks like what I do when I kiss Brownie on his head or whatever is beastie. I, I don't one. He said that I put my lip. I don't put my lips on Brownie's lips. What kind of shit is that? I let him lick on my, uh, cheeks and stuff you know whenever like i've been upset and stuff i've said that he's licked tears off my face yeah but i don't lick him in the mouth and all this stuff about brownie me and peanut butter that's gross you want to talk about people uh insinuating bestiality i mean you know come on bestiality well, I mean, it's not like it's not a one sided interview because I guarantee I'll be more fair and uh, unbiased with myself than any of you guys will. You guys would just come up here and ask mostly uh, questions to either set me off or stuff that's ridiculous 
or stuff that you know the answer to already, but you just want to act like you don't and just to get me, you know, that's what y'all, you guys do. Who, who do I need to give a wrench to? I don't need to give a wrench to anybody that's not trying to actually be good for my show. Ford for life is good. Oh, you've heard me tell my life. Oh, I'm controlling a narrative. Well, I don't care what you uh, what you think, Mr. Fusion, because you haven't let somebody like outside the community or whatever interview you. How, how's about when you guys let me interview you or something, you know, because I've already subjected myself to plenty of bashings and live uh the same stuff that Black Pox was talking about to you guys that Iceman was talking about is the same thing y'all did to me. But remember, just like they say that Black Pox can't blame himself because I went on air just like I went on air when Black Pox told me not to. Well, I can't blame him, right? Now, I said I might let herbal interview me if y'all just give me a second you know this is my life this is the problem people always trying to come on here and control how i do my show they don't want to listen to me or nothing you know if you guys don't want to listen i'm sure other people would now like i was saying yes i used to be a drug addict um uh, you know and like you guys already say i've already told my life story so if you know all that then what questions do you have to ask me, really? How about you ask them in the chat? That's not one-sided, is it, Mr. Fusion? If there are questions in the chat, because that way I can screen them and you can't just say something on my screen and, you know, and then therefore cause me to end the stream. Because most of you probably know that you just have to say one or two things on a stream and then it's ruined, and I gotta cl close the whole thing. And I'm not, I'm not taking that risk. Yeah, just go ahead and ask the questions in the chat. That goes for herbal everybody. My guard is up, and and there's a good reason it should be. Journalism major and English major. That's great. Okay, good. I'm. That's that's great, Carrie. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, see, I mean, Mr. Fusion automatically gets all the support and stuff. Just like, uh, you know, I don't like Iceman as much as some of y'all don't. But y'all wonder why I record stuff or whatever and showcase li other people's live streams. Because they make the point that I want to make or already am thinking on their own for me. Now, I don't agree with Iceman threatening your kid, Mr. Fusion. I do not at all. That was fucked up. Yeah, Carrie, go ahead. Anybody can ask me questions, please. Through the chat, because that's better. Because then you can't mess up my stream. And don't y'all act like that I'm doing anything wrong by being like that. I mean, hell, I should have my guard up. I've been manipulated. Some of you have watched me for so long and held on to videos of mine just to release them here lately. Herbal, you've got it. What is your question? You said you got seven questions. Start with the first one. Everybody can see it in chat. And if it's appropriate, I'll read it out before I answer it. That's the best deal you're going to get. I'm not letting anyone come up here to ruin my stream. I'm not doing it. I'm not dropping the link. No. You can ask your questions just as easy right there. Hey, James Cooper, how you doing, man? Those that deserve power are the ones that don't ask for it. That's why I'm giving wrenches to people who don't ask. I, th I think that he wants to come on here and say some things that 
are meant to either embarrass, mess me up, or mess my stream up, or make me not want to be on the stream anymore. Yeah, I have that as a genuine concern from all the stuff I have seen him say. And from the stuff he sent me on my old Instagram before I deleted it. Y'all should have seen some of the memes he made. Okay, right there. you, Dude. I'm not negotiating with no terrorist. Either you got a question you want me to ask or you do it. You don't get to. Uh, thank you, James. Somebody's got to got to keep these people in question. Or got to keep these people at bay. Now, he says if you do that, they'll come back in here a bunch of times. So just watch out for herbal. Give him a time out. And if they still act up after timing out, then uh, kick him. Terry, I'm not wanting no one to uh, come up, to be honest with you. I I'm willing to take questions through the chat. Oh, you got free speech right in that chat. That doesn't mean I have to let you come back up on my panel. Not letting anybody interview me. You know why? You really guys want to know why? You know why I'm not so quick to let people up here? Because you guys know that if you... Mm, Y'all know why I'm not letting anybody up here. You know. Y'all know why. So I, I, I'm done playing pretend. If you don't know, then you know. What was your question, B? Let me see it. Hold on. You said... No, a myocardial infarction. What are you talking about? I had an infarction in my leg. What are you talking about? It may have been related to my heart. Yeah, I'm not a medical expert. I'm just telling you what I know. I experienced muscle cell death. The way it happened, whatever way, I don't know. But I have a rod in my femur. I have uh, uh, I have a rod in my femur. I have degenerative disc disease. I broke my sacrum. I broke my right knee. I did all of that, and then I had a rod put in, and then I was in physical therapy uh, using a walker for about. Uh, the uh used a walker about six to seven months and then i was on a cane just up until about last year i uh, stopped using a cane for my, my, most purposes now if i ever have like a really bad day or if i start hurting sometimes yeah i will bust out and use a cane i don't know who that is mr fusion Well, I'm sorry, Mia. Maybe I misspoke. Uh, I'm not a medical expert like you are. So like I said, but what I told you was I had I was told myself was that an infarction in I guess an artery that runs down your leg or whatever. It got clogged or something. Somehow or another, my right part of my leg and my thigh, when I had surgery in it and they closed it back up afterwards, I had sharp pain and stuff in it. And once they looked at it, they could tell that muscle cell, uh, cell death had occurred. Um, I don't have closed captioning on wacky Jackie. I'm sorry. Maybe it was neuropathy. I don't know Scott Durson. I'm not a, I'm not a expert.
Yeah, it is similar to what they use on the house storyline, but that's not, it's not a story. What the fuck are you talking about? This is stuff I have diagnosed. I don't, don't have what house has. I didn't house suffered a bunch of other shit. I was in a wreck that led to my stuff. It's not because of house. What the fuck? Wow, Mia. Okay. Well, you believe what you want. I, I've got the MRIs, the, the x-rays, the medical documents to prove it. And I don't have to prove it to any of you. That's the thing. I am sitting here willing to share my shit. And, and nobody gives a shit. Nobody seems to give a shit. They, they just want to, you know, your questions are meant. That's why you don't want me interviewing myself because I'll cover all the important things and you guys won't get to ask me the antagonistic questions. How many chocolate bars do I eat per day on average? Maybe two. Maybe. Usually just one or none. I don't have chocolate every day. I went on a binge here a while back, and I seemed to eat it a lot. I'm listening to him. I see what you guys don't understand is, like, people have said that like filthy has said that I should have went all the way to dude Ford. I am calm. Um, he said that I should have went all the way out to Massachusetts where I was just at for a whole year before I came back home. I've been home two years. Well, we'll say a year and seven months. Before I came on here and you guys got starting to know me. If you don't think my family has tested and checked on me since I've been home and back with my grandpa, knowing that I came back from rehab, then you guys must think I don't have a family. So that's another reason why I dismiss the addict claims. Those are just stupid. They're just videos meant to joke on me and rile me up. So, and the making fun of my dog jokes, that's just fucked up. Because my dog is not just my best friend, but he is in training to be my psychiatric service dog. I don't, I wasn't trying to get on Johnny Goebel's panel. I wasn't even trying to get on Johnny Goebel's panel. What I tried to do was send him a message because he always has me blocked. That's what I was trying to do. Oh, you have the clip. See how quick y'all work together to uh, make something like, wow. Yeah, you have the clip. How do you have the clip when all I did was go in his guest backstage and send him a private message? I wasn't trying to be brought on his true crime panel. Oh, yeah, I know he said that. I wasn't trying to get up, though. I told him to check the private. Bet. Well, it automatically notifies him. So I just sent him a private message, and then I dropped right off. So I didn't even hear all that. But if that's what he said, that's fine. I don't care. I wasn't trying to get on his panel. Uh, they were talking about the Rodney case, I believe. I, I don't know enough about it to even talk about it. So I'm not, I'm not going to I'm not going to talk about it. Uh, my dog's going to be able to perform the service of being able to do deep pressure therapy uh, taught by Good Pup, and he'll be able to also uh, get my attention away. Like whenever I start to get upset or whatever, uh, he'll be able to divert my attention to him. 
So he'll basically be help, helping with my anxiety mostly. Because I don't like having to depend on. At what age did I have an abnormally large thing? Well, about the age of uh, about the age of ten, herbal. About the age of ten. No, I did not know Jack. He was going to be in my chat, and I didn't have time to turn on the closed captioning because I started from Streamyard. It was just a point of not doing my. Uh, you know, I just recently learned the closed captioning for her specifically. I went out of my way for her, Mia. So I just didn't happen to have it on this one time. It was just a, a quick thing. And that's all it was. Answered, asked, and answered. How did I know? Well, when you put your shorts on and, you know, it feels like you got a lightsaber hanging down on the right side of your leg, it's, you know, it's a little uncomfortable, you know what I mean? It's on your nerves. But, I mean, it, it makes up for it when all them people are uh, like, damn, and looking at you and always turned around at you. Because the damn thing practically came out my shorts. That's how I knew. Fuck. Motherfucker grew an inch a year practically. Now, y'all know I'm just joking with y'all. I'm just fucking kidding. Oh, I imagine every man don't feel the same way. How much money do I spend on weed per month? Uh, well, while I was working, probably two to two hundred. Oh, shit. About two hundred dollars or so. Damn. Fuck out my face. I was just joking. Oh, my God. Oh, my eyebrows, definitely, man. My eyebrows, see, you know, that that's why the eyebrows don't even bother me because uh, I've heard that shit so long in my life. Like, it, it really don't bother me. Yeah, I mean, I'm interacting with the chat. I mean, I hope they like and subscribed. <laughs> if not, I mean. Uh, no, I never thought about trimming my donger, uh, MC, because if I were to do that, that would hurt. <laughs> no, it didn't, Katana. No, it didn't. Uh, zero, Herbal. Zero. I haven't cried any on camera this month. This is September, right? Yeah, zero. Uh, there you go, Wacky. Wacky, I'm going to make sure I have closed captioning on from now on, okay? I apologize. I didn't mean to. No, I can't see the real deal, Katana. I had not been able to see him forever. Uh... 
I mean, I, I didn't mean – you guys don't understand that I'm really a nice guy. I mean, I can take joking, sure, but, like, the constant videos and everything, it just was, like, a lot, you know, don't you think? Tell me to kill myself and shit. I was a little too much. Hey, Brownie. Hey, Bubba. Uh, wrench me? I don't know if I can answer that. Oh, filthy animal. I swear if I have to take anybody off real quick, I will. But maybe I will put it in. Hey, Rick. Herbal. Man, if you come, I swear, man, no one come up here and mess up my stream for real. If y'all do that, then I'm just going to leave. Hell, I got witnesses. Hey, Rick, I'm sorry. I didn't see you earlier. I automatically was there. Hold on just a second. Rick, you're welcome to come up if you want. You can't be on the internet at all while this court case is going on. That's what I, I usually let everybody come up or anyone come up, but. I had problems with that in the past. No, don't call me trap on. I'm being chill. I just hope nobody tries to abuse the stream yard stuff. Or tries to say anything that'd get me in trouble or nothing. Hey Army Vet. I got a text this morning saying uh Army Vet saying that uh Iceman was sending you over here to fuck me up. <laughs> I swear to God. Hey, Kenny. What's good, Square? How you doing, man? I'm driving back from Urban Air. Oh, that's cool, man. Yeah, nice to hear from you. How, how, how you been doing? I haven't talked to you or seen you in a long time. I'm good, man. I'm good. I took I took my youngest son to the YMCA to go swimming, and apparently it's only uh, swimming lessons tonight. So the lifeguard actually came over and kicked him and I out of the pool, even though we were the only two people on that side of the pool. Aw. Well, so I'm he sorry got upset about that. You took him where? So good. We went to Urban Air. I had a Urban Air. It's like a trampoline park. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, like, okay, you live, must live in a city then. Yeah, it's more suburban. But check us out, right? So I, I remembered I had a cool. Coupon called me, and then I found out they still had a membership there. I didn't know that, so I went up there and got my coupon back. <laughs> hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, hey, filthy. Uh, uh, Kenny, what were you saying now? Go ahead, man. I said, well, You got a coupon? I remembered back? I had a coupon. I had a coupon. Kenan, be quiet, buddy. That's hey, cool. Yeah, it's closed for kids. I had a coupon to get in, and I used the coupon. Then I remembered he had a uh, he had a membership, so I went back up there and they gave me my coupon back. Keep that for oh, a rainy day. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, um, do that definitely. Got to go hang out, and I got my coupon back. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm not grown up. I know, KK. Not a grown up. Well, one day maybe I'll. Uh, I don't know. I'm not in any rush to have any kids, that's for sure, but I'm you glad you're you having a you good you time with yours. You know what you need yeah. to do, Square? need to have you some kids, bro. Yeah, I know. I've been told that, but... You need to have you some kids, bro. They will keep you busy. Oh, I bet they would. Places, buddy. They're closed. 
We didn't make good choices today. Unfortunately, the person that I was with, you know, they they wanted to steal. They weren't as serious as I was about stuff. Right. We don't make good choices. But, you know, everybody's got to make their own choice. How many kids you got? Too many. <laughs> <laughs> he said too many. <laughs> I got two. Uh, well, that's what's up, man. You got two blessings. Two boys, ten and six. They drive me nuts, but I love them to death. Well, then you got two blessings, man. Yes, sir. What are you getting into? I've got a, a couple of nieces and nephews that keep me happy whenever we get to go up and see them up north in Missouri. And then I've got another set of uh, nephew and a niece in Nashville. Ow! Damn, Brownie. See, that's why, I like shit to, out of that's why I like to keep the coupons on hand because I get my nephews occasionally. And if the kids got memberships, I use the coupon for the nephews. Yeah, I got a nephew in dance. I've got a nephew that uh, rides horses, or a niece, I mean, and a niece in dance. And then I've got a nephew that, uh, yeah, he likes to go out hunting all the time with his dad. What about you? What do you do in your spare time besides YouTube? Uh, well, see, I was working for Lyft last year. I worked a bunch of different jobs, actually, last year. I kind of, like, did, like, a, a mix-up. It was weird, but... Uh, and then what happened, uh, I guess my car just got down to its age that uh, we fixed some things that was wrong with it. And I had to sell it. We had to sell it. Um, you know, we, we moved here the last year. And, how is uh, it had to, one, uh, Huh? How's, how's the money with Lyft? Because I, I do DoorDash, and before this pandemic shit, I did pretty well. Oh, uh, uh, it was all right, but I mean, I was driving in Memphis, man. It was dangerous. I had somebody pull a gun on me one time. I had somebody try to rob me another time. I had somebody hit my car another time. Uh, I'm, I'm, my tire went flat on two different occasions and some bad areas. I mean, I was, e I was even there the day that a uh, young Dolph got shot. Hey, bro, you need to buy an army tank. <laughs> <laughs> Pull up somebody's front. You, you pull up to pick up your ride, and you're in an army tank. <laughs> this is for my safety and yours. Yeah, you know, they um, <laughs> they they shot him up back in January. It was he at was a, a uh, it, it, it it was at a cookie uh a cookie bakery and uh. It was on Airways Boulevard. Oh, shit. Yeah, Ooh, I drove, bad, drove by and when I drove by and saw the blue lights and the yellow tape up around it, and I was like, oh, shit. And damn, right. uh, like a Porsche 911 or some type of Porsche fancy-ass car parked in the, in the front. That's wild. So nothing like that ever happens around here. Although, you know what? You remember, uh, what's his name? Brian Dunn and, and Bam Margera and all them? Oh, Bam? You talking about Viva La Bam? Yeah. Yeah, I never really... My friend Lennon uh, used to watch Viva La Bam, but I never really got much into it. But see, I live I live close to where uh, Brian Dunn, or Ryan Dunn crashed his car. And, uh, like, if you type in Bam Margera's name in the GPS here, it'll take – I don't know if it's his house or what, but it'll take you to a skate park that's, like, his skate park or whatever. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know who General Lee is, but relax. what is that? Uh, Iceman, probably. Oh, there's somebody with the name General Lee. I was trying to get my boy. I don't know. It, it may be Iceman. I don't know, but they was trying – Telling you to drop them kids and get off stream. Filthy needs to speak. I ain't got nothing, you know, really ever, ever had nothing against uh, Filthy, but I got some shit against Iceman. Because, I mean, Who told me again, they, 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 could say that they, could, they could say the same shit about me, too, I'm sure. Who hmm? told me to drop my kids and get off? That General Lee. 
damn, what happened to Kenny? Herbal. Uh, hold, hold, on, hold, on, hold on just a second, Filthy. He must have dropped off accidentally. Yeah, yeah. Herbal. Hello, Herbal. Herbal. Hello. I'll try to come back in, or well, yeah, filthy animal, you're on. Yeah, I, th I think you uh, did a pretty good job with them reviews, Squire. I mean, uh, you need to just do your thing like that. I mean, well, no, you... I didn't do I didn't do that good because I didn't know that that Donald White and Durkee weren't half brothers. At least I had assumed they would at least were like half or brothers in laws, but apparently people were saying they're not brothers. I thought they were. Uh, well, I didn't see that, but I was talking about that one you did on uh, my video. Then you did one on Fusion and Reaper. You know, I, I thought you gave them a fair shake, and I think you can plainly tell these two different sets of rules. It's a set they play by, and you're through out into the dark. And, you know, fuck you. You know, they can say or like, do anything I, they listen, want. I, I want you to know something, Filthy. I only called, the only reason, I was told that there was a miner over there in Iceman's chat, and I had seen on Iceman's live before, he, you know, he goes 18 and up on some stuff. That's, and and they made it seem like, you know, and Mr. Fusion's going to say, oh, no, it didn't go down like that, but. I've got the video in my stream yard, probably. I, I haven't looked for it, uh, but uh, we, if, if I can find it, I'll repost it. No, nah, we got it. We got it. Uh, we, we know. I mean, I've seen him over there trying to pass the buck, said you're a grown man, and that was up to you to call. He just gave you the No, they've been trying. These people have been, not to interrupt you, but these people have been trying to manipulate me, and that's why I've been trying to, like, move on over to just modding for Rick and Moses' uh, channel and stuff and not really do too much videos. I decided to come on and do more videos because I know what I'm going to do videos about and not. I'm not going to stay tripped up on the past. Whatever happened from July and in the past, I don't care no more. I don't blame you. That That's exactly what they're doing to you. They're trying to manipulate you. And, uh, you know, that's like them want to talk about Iceman cocking a gun. Well, first thing, that could be an audio recording. It could be a BB gun. But uh, it could have been, but, a, it could have been a, a replica. Yeah. I mean, they make airsoft guns that are damn near just like a regular gun. Right. But Fusion was saying if somebody shows up at his house, he's going to point a shotgun out the door. Well, he's a fucking felon. He can't have a gun. And I'm going to yeah, tell you. Yeah, Phil, Filthy did say that, Fusion, but he said that, you know, because he didn't know how I was going to come at me. But, you know, we're reaching some common ground now. So why are you bringing up the past? You don't want him talking on here, do you, Fusion? No, he's he talking in the chat right now. He's bringing up about what you said about me and so on. No, man, I took care of that, dude. The reason why he paid me was because I was on call for 24 7 for him. And when he broke his ankle, I went over there that night. Like when people called me, I responded then. I didn't say, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll give me till the morning. No, I went over there that minute. Right. Well, you know, the thing about fusion, I'm going to tell you something. I've, I've, worked, I've worked since I was 16, everybody. What y'all need to understand is I've worked since I was 16. I've had my driver's license, unlike Durkee, since 16. And I don't have anything on my, my criminal record that's a conviction besides a misdemeanor possession of marijuana. Now, y'all know I got something pending, but like it is, it's pending. And you don't ever mention that I pled not guilty, but let's not talk about that, please. Uh, I, I'm not here to talk about that. But, you know, with Fusion, uh, they can search me, do whatever they want. What the biggest thing is going to be the difference between me and that cocksucker is I don't have no felonies on my fucking record. So if y'all ever yeah. want to find out who the filthy animal is, He's not going to be a no. I think I think you should be able to keep your identity as long as you can, or if you can keep it forever, because that's what fusion and P and, and, and like. I mean, I wish I would have had done that when I came on here, but I tried to be honest and genuine towards the people I met, and all it did was backfire on oh, me. Oh, it definitely and, backfired. And yeah, I mean, 
and Mr. Fusion keeps his Id identity, and now supposedly it's been revealed that whatever the facts that were said about him, and you know that's cool. You know he lives in the same <laughs> state as me. Right. Uh, you don't. You don't care what I have on my record, Mr. Fusion. Okay. Well, then why don't you stop making vids on me and stop trying to make me into a low cow? You know and, how dumb that is. And You're basically he, trying to take the idea of the Durky verse and repeat it with me. And I promise you, I'm not going to be 36 and still live with my mom because my my mom died in 2017. Piece of shit. So why don't you just stop? Have you noticed it's okay for him to dock somebody and put their name and shit out there and their address, but he's all yeah. But y'all got up. so uh, but y'all got so upset when he did it to Black Pox. Y'all got so upset when they revealed Black Pox, didn't you? Right. We got another cocksucker up in here. That fucking real deal, motherfucker. You know, I didn't do nothing. I don't know about don't him. Do, you know, I tried. They they were supposedly were supposed to like. The dude, I don't know, had been texting me forever, supposedly. He's never called me, not once. He said he was uh, mad about the people that were bullying me and stuff. But, yeah. like, he's always in the chats. He's always yeah. laughing with them and stuff. So I don't know what to think. And I can't see him in my own chat. And no, he's a mod in here. And I, I would be willing to bet he, he might have even been on your panel before. You know, I think he's somebody that, you know. Well, he said he tried knows. to come on. He, he tried to come on, but I was that night that they had me stay up all night. And Fusion, why don't you let everyone know that that uh, that I paid you, you know, well, they probably already do, that I paid you your money, you know, that you bet. I am a man of my word, so you can't say that about me. I tried to pay Rex, too, but Rex didn't want it, so I ended up giving it to Lee because I figured he needed it more than I did. But, yeah, I, I'm basically coming up here to tell you to do your thing. You need to tell these people to fuck off. It's your fucking channel. Uh, you you review what you want, stream who you want. I mean, fusion. Well, listen, I, I heard all. you. Well, I heard you say some things like, you know, like when people run out of medicine and stuff, they might get angry. Like, I want you to know that I was told today from my neighbor, and people say my neighbor's mad at me. No, they're not. Anyways, and it's a she, by the way. She said that your grandpa said that you're his whole life. So, I mean, my grandpa wants me to be here. I don't abuse my medicine, so I don't ever run out of it. So, therefore, I don't, you know, do anything but help my grandpa. That's all I do. And uh, I'm trying to get my life together. So, yeah, Filthy Animal's always welcome on this channel. Because, yeah, you, you see how he's on here being respectful. That's something y'all don't know how to do about it. They want me to let people up here to interview me. They know damn sure as soon as I let them up here, they'd start saying things that were would be to try to trigger me. And I wouldn't get triggered anymore. I'd just end the stream because yeah. I'm not about that shit. <laughs> I, I ain't about that bull, uh, whining about it no more. I mean, y'all want to keep doing it, just keep doing it. it it's going to get pathetic after a while. Yeah, you, you know, that they're going to do whatever they want to do. Fusion, come on. Got all that fucking content. You go to bed, wake up the next morning, he's got videos. And you know, like I said, I've, I have trolled you before, but the difference is I didn't act like we was friends and, you know, everything was cool, you know. And they no, you didn't advantage like of you, you know. They've yeah, that is the difference. Uh, that is the difference, Katana, since you want to sit there and say Filthy's talk shit. Yeah, he didn't talk to me ever or know, know me. Yeah. But, right, but he did, but he didn't, but he wasn't here months ago watching me and I wasn't talking to him on a discord and then he starts streaming with me and then he turns his back on me. That is what fusion did. That's what a bunch of them did square red reaper. I mean, the list goes on and on to be honest with you. Uh, I mean, well, it, it, I, I mean, red reapers like me, we, we got like, you know, I, I'm not saying that that means we should get like a, a free pass to do or say whatever. I'm just saying that I think Red Reaper and I both have issues and that sometimes leaks over and we don't mean for it to leak over, but it does. That's just my opinion. I'm not speaking for Red Reaper.
Yeah, but I, um, I what Rick, what Rick say? Yeah, that's right, Rick Sanchez. People with the past are inter interesting as long as they've grown and learned. Um, well, I mean, I don't have too much of a past. Uh, you know, I've messed up and I've been in the wrong place and with the wrong person. I got charged with a felony forgery once, but it got dropped because I just gave somebody a ride and they had wrote a check in there where they also wrote a check in two other states totaling up to about twenty thousand dollars and they just used me one time as a get as a driver and i didn't know what was going on you know so i got the charge dropped right you know i got an attorney and went through the right way i mean the evidence was in in the pudding when they looked at the other uh, surveillance cameras and saw it wasn't my car or me with him right right and and you know i don't care that somebody's got a criminal record Bob Blackpox got called out. He's always talking about men that talk bad to women, people that fucking hold people hostage, people that does this. Well, come yeah, to you find could out be seen. Was... Re reject. I'm sorry, so sorry to interrupt you. Reject clowns. You could be seen. I just want to let you know. Go ahead, filthy weed. You start over, please. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, uh, he he's did all this stuff. That well, he was accused of doing all this stuff that he talks about other people doing. And, you know, that's pretty ballsy to get up there and talk about that every day, thinking somebody might not get sick of hearing it and run your fucking record, which is public. And, uh, you know, anything I post, it's fucking public. And I really don't care if his eyes hurt over it. He deserved it, man. Well, I mean, you know, Black Pox kept making videos after I had turned my channel off and took a little break. But, you know, like he kept calling me this, this and that, but he acted like my friend. And yeah, I said some things when I was angry, but I never did dox him or anything. And I never would. Now, people called it, said when I was uh, showing your stuff on that one stream, I took it down because I got so much hate. I got one yeah. comment from Car Carolina <laughs> Cowboy saying, why are you kicking a man when he's already down? Well, Fuck me. What about me the last two months? Right. Nobody I mean, said I, that about me. I like but, but yet Carolina Cowboys, you know, I mean, he's got videos with me holding dicks and shit. That's a little, you know, I got a little obses obsession there, I think. I don't know, but I ain't got no problem with him. I just don't know why he made videos, but I guess that's what he likes to do. Yeah, and I yeah, mean, I, I used like to talk him. to Scarface, but that was before I knew he was a racist. I'm not a racist either. I mean, I you know, I've done some stupid stuff in the past, but I'm not a racist. <laughs> Reject the clown. You need to mind your fucking business, buddy. I, I don't have no fucking problem with you. And it, it's none of your fucking business who I am. And you can go fuck yourself. You didn't call him a cripple, did you? I didn't call him no fucking crippled. I've never even spoke a fucking word to him. Okay, because like that, now that that I would have an issue with. Hold on, no, I want man. Ice man wants to call me a cripple, man. Oh, Ice man did. Well, I don't agree with that, man. I I, I just got filthy up here to hear what he's got to say. You know, yeah, I opened I, I the panel up. Herbal came up here and he couldn't talk. Yeah, I can't control what anybody else does or, or say, but uh, I am going to tell you something. You you running with that? Oh, he little said one? you laughed about it. Oh, okay. Oh, well, you, you. I mean, hold on. Let me put the comment up for you. I guess he's talking about you, not me. You laughed at Iceman when he called him a crippled or something. Well, I mean, what's the big deal? I mean, people laugh. I mean, for all you know, I could have been reading Filthy. something in the chat, you know. Filthy made a post today, put me in a wheelchair and talking shit. I well, that's shit. Uh, I said, mind your own fucking business. Now, if you want to fuck around and get some smoke, little clown face fuck, I can give it to you. I'm pretty good at it. No, I didn't kick you, Herbal. You can come right back on. I didn't kick you, dude. Dude, come back up. You just fell off. I, you were unmuted and everything. 
uh, Rejected Clowns, the link is up if you want to talk to Filth. I'm opening the thing to discourse. Look, I don't, if Filthy made fun of you, Rejected, I'm not cool with that. Just know for the record, Filthy. I'm not because, like, I'm the disabled. I don't think you should make fun of those people. Now, that's just my opinion. If you got something to say, bitch. Because, I mean, now, I mean, Let's try to be civil as we can. I'm not call each other names, please. That's just my request. Y'all gonna do All what right. you want, but I'm just okay. Saying. No, no, we can do that. Swear it's your show, but uh, I mean, I I don't know how I'm calling. Herbal, up. Up, Herbal, you are. Come on, come on, Herbal, you can come on up. Rejected clowns, please, you come on up. He's gonna treat you with respect while you're up here with, on my show. I mean, no, I don't have a Discord wacky. What rejected don't understand. I've done seen these comments made, you know, over there in fucking uh, Fusion's live stream. So I mean, just because no, no one's telling no one's telling you to shut up, rejected. I'm asking you to come up on on the panel, yeah. please. Come on up. Not to fight you, but I, I mean, if you want to talk to Filthy and tell me what happened, I'm trying to hear your side of the story. Is what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to cause drama or cause a fight. People, that's what they'll say. They'll say that I'm trying to instigate shit. But Rejected Clowns, if you come up here, we'll keep it civil. Real deal, you can come on up. Anybody is allowed to come on up. The only thing that's supposed to keep off topic up here is people's family, legal stuff, and etc. Just keep that stuff off here, okay? Ain't no need to bring that shit up. That's bullshit, filthy. What are you talking about, Army Vet? If I mean, if he did do that, that is fucked up, Army Vet. I agree with you. Don't you don't have to leave. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it. Uh, rejected clowns. Do you want to come up, or you do you not want to? He said he's going to come what? on up. A, a, a part of what? I don't understand. We're just doing a panel, Army Vet. There's nothing going on here. His community post. Well, you don't have to be a part of his community post. That's his. Right. If you don't like if, it, don't if look he at made it. An, if, if he made an offensive community post, I mean, and you don't support it, then you can always unsubscribe from him if you're subscribed. No offense, filthy. Just oh, telling no, the truth. No, I, yeah, I, I'm not about subscribers anyway, or I wouldn't post the shit I do. <laughs> yeah, I'm not about that. <clears throat> I'm trying to get to know filthy you guys, but I'm not, you know, we're not friends, obviously. Yeah. He's no. made videos about me in the past. He didn't know me. And, for, and to be honest, he saw me in a bad light. And a lot of times because of, uh, I don't know, some manipulation projected clowns. You're in here, but I can't add you. You've got to add your camera and stuff to it, buddy. You don't, you only have your set. Like, can you look in the guest thing and see where it, and, uh, agree, tell, tell him filthy that, uh, his camera's not connected. You don't have to have your camera on. It just has to be connected to where I can add you. Otherwise, I can't add you if you don't have a mic and camera. You see what I'm talking about, Filthy? Can you go to guest? Uh, be honest with you, Square. I don't know nothing about working this shit. <laughs> well, Rejected, if you can hear me, listen. You're in the participants log, but I can't add you to the stream. It only allows me to... Yeah, you just logged off maybe he'll log back in the link is at the top for anybody that wants to join the stream and ask filthy some questions i'm giving the platform over to filthy if anyone wants to talk to him or me here's herbal herbal you're on the square uh third eye watching channel Uh, what's up on here hell yeah 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 you're on here bud no. no, I didn't kick you off the first time. You wasn't making any connections. So I asked, I told you to come on you back up. Hold on just a second. We got another, uh, we got another guest, Rejected Clowns on here. Now, listen, guys, let's all be respectful to one another. <laughs> I'm going to let Rejected Clowns and Filthy go at it first. Uh, rejected, you got something you want to say, bud? Yeah, I just want to know, Filthy, why you want to tell me to shut the fuck up, man. I can respawn if somebody's calling me a cripple, man. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm talking about you said that I was welcome to come on your show. You are you, face-to-face. Let's get it done, dude. Like, why keep the drama going, dude? People don't I don't know you nothing, dude. 
I'm I don't owe you fucking nothing. Well, th- well, stay on my business. Then stay the fuck off my business. I can re- I could answer Iceman if he wants to call me a cripple, man. He no, I, to, dude, he, he wants to tell me to right. break my bones, filthy. I have a bone disease, man. My bones are like glass. He wants to tell me he's going to break my bones, kill me. He's going to hunt me down. Like, fuck that shit, dude. That's intimidation. That's I wrong. Fucking bitch, Th- man. That is wrong. That's threatening. No, exactly. I've been no. trying to explain it to you, though. No, and no. Everybody no. wants to sit there and go, oh, it's just ice, man. It's what? okay. You got it wrong. Are you going to let me explain? Oh, yeah. Go on. Okay. Well. You're over in Mr. Fusion's running your mouth about come on my panel and show my face. Well, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people that goes on panels that don't show their face. Just because I posted someone's criminal record, which the real deal does all the time. I mean, well. I, I don't know what the problem is. I mean, it's like filthy. You do you side have with them? Here, no, here's my problem, filthy. I'll tell you. So okay. last night we right. were in Iceman's channel, and yeah. when Iceman was laughing about calling me a cripple and shit, what'd you say? Oh, I guess we're gonna have to dig deeper on him then. Oh, we're gonna have to execute it. You guys started laughing about it, dude. That's why I fucking responded on uh, fusions. Because if you're gonna bring somebody's kids in it, and then you're gonna sit there and go, uh, oh, I was just gonna call the school. Oh, I, so now you're admitting either you're a rat or you're fucking. So what's the what's worse, calling a PO or calling somebody's fucking school and bringing their kids in on it? Did I say that? No, but okay. I'm okay. responding okay. to Ice Man, and <laughs> okay. you're laughing about this shit. That. Well, you need to take that up with Ice Man. I mean, I I'm, I can't Every control time what I he do, does. You get involved in it, dude. Hey, the animal, did you make a number two on your number two one? Break, break, just a second. Did you make a community post? They said I'm on it. Is it with? Oh, yeah, I'm ahead. on it with rejected. Well, yeah, no. like filthy. Like you shouldn't want to make fun of people. That no one should want to make fun of people. That's got this Like I'm business. sorry I'm that you got. Up. I'm sorry you got that bone disease uh, rejected. But no, you got a little sorry, bit worse. It, who I am, but I mean, I, 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 I'm just I saying you got more. Like I'm glad that I know that now because like you know, I'd take up for you then because. You got it worse than I do, probably like, in some you guys ways. want to call they call us a fucking racist, right? For fucking being affiliated with somebody that fucked up, right? And did a dumb fucking thing. People called him out, right? But then it's like Thank oh, you, every Rick. excuse in the fucking world for Shane doing it. He's a closet KKK. Yeah, it's yeah. Right listen, to do it, you know. And no, the reason why I illustrated Shane's thing. I showed the full thing because he tried to say I was hiding it. Yeah, he said the attitude thing after. But he still made it sound like he whooped uh, people of a different ethnicity, and he did that to like to make me size him up some type of way. And when I played that to my brother, my brother just laughed and said, "Forget about it." And I held on to that and I forgot about it. And it wasn't until he fuck around and talk shit behind my back after talking to me on the phone two to three different times. That I finally say, all right, Shane, I'm going to reveal this. And I put it out there. I mean, you know, I can only take so much bullshit. Yeah. And have so, you ever heard me say that was okay what he said? Because it wasn't. No, you know? no, no, I know it wasn't. No, and what call, I said call, back when I was young. It, filthy, and I've said that. I've said that many times. So if you watch everything that I say, you can see me even in Fu- filthy or Fusion's chat going, oh, dude, Filthy did call him an idiot for saying that, dude. I've said it over and over. So I'm not I don't know why. against you. I, I just want to say this, but I don't know why Herbal left. But Herbal, you're welcome to come back because people act like he wanted to interview me. But he just said I don't have nothing to do with these people anyways. So all right. Now go ahead again. I'm sorry. Filthy, is it your turn? No, I, I heard what the man said. Yep. He so, said he it, here's heard my other say problem. that. Yep. Here's Go my ahead. other problem, right? I tried to reach out and make a truce with Iceman. I swallowed my pride and I was like, fuck it. Let's do it for the community. And I didn't even do I it. I wanted to do it too. Me. Well, listen, I didn't even do it for me. Iceman's the one that when he goes to chats, he starts talking shit and he's the one that gets blocked, right? And I was like, hey, we can coexist. Maybe if I reach out, then he can go in a chat. He doesn't have to talk shit when he sees my name. Right. Then he'll be able to go in a chat. So I did that for him, but he's too ignorant to see it. And then he just goes off on me. You know what I mean? Then he goes, oh, well, you made a video showing this. And I keep telling him, no, I didn't. The way you're looking at that video isn't the way it is. And if 10 people look at it, they're all going to agree with me. I've had so many people look at it. And it's like, 
I, I just don't know what to do. It's like stupidity, dude. You can't fight stupidity, man. Well, I, I mean, my suggestion would be just uh, him not pay any attention to you and you not pay any attention to I him. I tried that. Don't... So now we're going to go at it because I've tried. So now it's going to get fucking dirty because it's like I fucking tried. You're not going to call me a cripple and me just sit back and be okay with that shit. Tell me to die. Tell me you're going to break my bones and hunt me down. And because I'm friends with certain people and I have to message these people, that's intimidation, man. Fuck that shit, man. Like, what, I ain't a uh, bitch, man. Where did this happen hey. at? Go look at my video, Filthy. Oh, Go look I, at my I, video I, I, and I you'll know, see it. I haven't seen it, yeah. Um, you know? yeah. And that's the problem, not... right? And then Triple T goes in his life last night because if one of his people are in Triple T saying they're going to hang me, and he completely denies it. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, like, but that's fucked up. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna tell you, Triple T and a bunch of people's got the shits of you, little motherfuckers. I mean, I mean the way Triple T uh, likes me. I well, talk he, to him he, all the time. He, he might you, but uh, I mean, yeah, uh, make, he's make, not excuse happy. me. Yes. Excuse me, guys. Break, break. Make sure y'all like and subscribe to Rick Sanchez. If you're not, it's a good channel. Go ahead. I mean, they, there's just so much bad shit affiliated with that name anymore that uh, I, I get that, but you can't you can't say everybody's bad, and that's absolutely what not. Uh, you I, know, I, I because otherwise, so. I can easily turn back. Like I told you that one day, filthy. I was like, so does that mean that you're a racist because you hang out with Shane, remember, and you didn't want to answer? It? And I was like, of course not, because it's like just because you're hanging out with somebody. It doesn't mean you're a racist. And I don't even hang out with them. It's like they're an right. acquaintance that I talk to. Right. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm cool without... with everybody, man. Like, I talk to everybody. I have a bone disease, dude. I'm in so much fucking pain when I wake up. When I get on YouTube, it's my escape from fucking pain. I've broken over 250 bones, man. I've been in body casts. I've shattered femurs. I've had bones pop out of my skin just from fucking falling uh, I roll over in bed and break a femur, man. It's like my fucking life sucks. So I get on YouTube to fucking enjoy it. And you get these fucking assholes that just take it too fucking far. You know, it's like you can make fun of me all you want. I don't mind that. But you're not going to call me a cripple, dude. And then the people that I thought had my back just sat there and watched it happen, man. And that's what hurts the most. It's not even Iceman. It's the people that you thought you were cool with would have said something. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you this YouTube's a uh, rough game. I, I wouldn't consider oh, yeah, nobody friends on here, you know, maybe acquaintances, but uh, you know, I, I run by myself. I mean, yeah, I do go on Ice Man's lives. I don't agree but with Ice, that, everything but he Ice says. Man uses you as a lap dog though. Because every time Iceman has a problem, he's like, oh, Phil, do you check this out? I watch the videos. And then you go watch the video, and then you make a video about these guys, and he sits back and laughs about it, man. No, you, you couldn't be more wrong. You couldn't okay. be more wrong. I mean, I do what I want to do, you know. I mean, he's got the platform that I can, you know, well, show you my didn't, stuff on. you didn't on. make fun of me being in a wheelchair till he brought it up. No, I didn't say anything to you till you're you're talking about I should reveal myself, and you know but that's you none didn't of your know business about the wheelchair or him calling me a cripple till he brought it up. Oh no, I, I didn't know about that until. And then last once night, he did, right. once he did, what'd you do? Well, I knew that to get under your skin a little bit. That doesn't know? get under my skin though. It's just going to well, piss good. me off to where I'm going to respond, dude. Well, it's good. Like, I mean, that's, that's the what way you guys to be, want, man. Is to make views and respond on an internet war, then that's what we can do. But I thought people wanted to get over the drama. No, not me. I'm at war with these little motherfuckers. And I mean, if you want to uh, be part of it, filthy. That's fine. Filthy. Well, there's a yeah. question in the audience for you. It's on screen. Because you, you can't trust you people. I mean, that, that's one reason. I mean, uh, you know, these little motherfuckers, they're out there's another one from her everywhere. Well, like, okay, filthy saying that they're not all bad. No, uh, no this guy is saying king of the king of the kill. Um, I'm gonna make you a mod, sir, uh, because I've never seen you before, and I'm giving out rand. I'm trying to make good moderators on my channel since I restarted it for the final time. If it don't work this time, I'm just going to give up. But no, I, I want to let y'all talk because people were liking y'all's dialogue. So y'all please continue to talk. I'm sorry to interrupt. 
but Swear, she had a uh, question and I wanted yeah. you to answer it. Yeah. Uh, them wrenches, man, you, you give too many of them out. Yeah. All these people don't need a wrench. That's how shit gets all out of whack and people's hiding people, unhiding them. But you know, it, it's your channel, but I mean, I hate to see you go right back down that road again. Well, no, I don't want to go down that road now. I mean, look, look, do you want to keep any drama up with me and rejected clowns? Like, is that what you no, want? Do you no, want to like, no, did I, we do I anything got, to you, man? I ain't got no problem with either of you. You know, that's one of the reasons I come up here to tell you, you know, keep doing what you're doing. Don't let people distract you. Uh, them couple. Well, do you want to say anything to rejected? I mean, I think he may have been offended a little bit rejected. Do you got anything you want to say? I just want to know, so I broke my tailbone, Filthy, for, right. I was gone for about two and a half weeks. You could ask a lot of people, man. I came back and all this shit was going on with the little MF people, right? right. I have no idea what's going on, man. I have, to, I've asked people. It's like, it's just so much, dude, that people are like, I don't even know where to start. What's your problem with the little MF people? Well... They try to intimidate people. They want to tell people, you know, if you go in this chat, you you can't be over here. But aren't you guys yeah. doing that? No. So no. calling no. me a cripple, threatening to break my bones, calling me a racist because of who I'm associated with, that's not intimidation? Did I do that? But you are. No. I'm yeah, because you're saying that you're at war with all these little MFers. Well, it, it's just a handful of them. I, all of you. Like, uh, you the break, break, you guys. About me. So, I mean, technically, break. you're at war with me, right? No. no. Break, 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 guys. Uh, filthy, she said, I wish you was not mad all the time. That's all. Oh, hell, I'm not mad. I, I'm having a good time trolling these fucking people. I, I'm not a bit mad. No. No, I'm not well, mad. Well, I mean, I think that if, like, to be honest, uh, I don't know if you knew that I was disabled and have the stuff, but if you knew rejected was, or just recently became new and maybe made fun of it, maybe you might want to, I don't know, take that back or not. I mean, it's, it, no, that's your I, call. I, it's your I, channel. Listen, uh, you know, he, just, he didn't just, say it. Iceman did. He just I mean, laughed about it. Yeah. I, I ain't said nothing like oh, that. Okay. My you bad, know, my I, bad, I, my bad. And, and, you know, it's not all the little motherfuckers. It's just sort of the main ones that's sort of running it. You know, little feller, little buddy, you know, a few of the other ones. Uh, you know, they, they are the ones trying to intimidate people. I mean, talking about cutting people's heads off, asking people if they want a 1% problem when the cocksucker don't even own a motorcycle. I mean, he's not an outlaw. You know, then he had to take that back. I mean, that, that's a form of intimidation, too. Now, what was well, done, done to you isn't right either. I'm not saying I agree with that. but uh, well, The thing with Iceman is is I've even tried to make peace. Like, Rejected has said, like, I've tried to reach out to him, but he blocks me every time I say, hey, man, can I talk? Like, he's like, no, nah, man, get the F out of here, you know? Like, he's got his attitude and way of being, and I, I'm not trying to get you to change his ways or nothing, but I'm just saying, like, you almost can't make peace with it. I see some people have, like I see that he's gotten cooler with some people and, and he's doing better. And I'm glad because I don't want anything but the best for everybody on this platform. I, I don't care. Even when it comes down to the people that have made fun of me, the worst, I want the best for y'all. I don't want hate on anybody. I ain't that type of person. Well, you definitely got a good outlook on things square. I, I can say that for you. You know, I, I just hope these people don't get you all fired up and, you know, just do your own thing. They're not. Be yourself. If, if I have to take another break, I will. Um, I mean, you're always welcomed on this panel. I mean, unless you're actively doing stuff that's, like, bad for the community, rejected, you know you're always welcome here, dude. Yeah, yeah. If I, I ever... I, I just... Um, I just don't understand why all this has to go on. I, I'm completely baffled. You know, it's one. Well, thing if you want to talk videos. more about it, go ahead. Don't let me interrupt y'all. Like, I'm sorry. Like, to me, calling me a cripple is no different than saying the n-word to somebody, and that's what you guys say. You're all pissed off about. You don't want, but when your own people do it, there's you're always like, oh well, you guys didn't handle it, so you guys don't handle your own. So why are you gonna bitch at another group handling their shit? 
because they're fucking with people, trying to intimidate people. These little motherfuckers ain't going to intimidate me because I'm not scared of none of them, you know? They're not going to do that. Well, you shouldn't be well, scared no. of no man, man. I mean, uh, let's be honest. Nobody should be trying to intimidate anybody. This isn't the streets. This is YouTube. Like, we're, as channel creators, we want to support one another. I mean, am I, am I not the only one in agreement with that? I just want to go to another person's chat and support the creator. I don't want to go there and argue with somebody to where they have to shut down their channel. Like exactly. Did last night. Like, that's not cool, man. Who, like, who shut down? No, it's not. It, it's Triple not P, cool whenever. People were saying fucked up shit in the chat. Like, oh. We can't. Like, I get going at it back and forth, right? But when you go to some creator's channel, where's the respect for that channel and those people right. to get along good enough so they can enjoy the show? These people work all day. They bust their ass. They should be able to watch the show in peace and enjoy the content, not but, fucking see all these people go at it and get kicked. But do you want to it's talk just, about who the people was? What they it's just like what? MF in front of their name? It wasn't little MF. It was somebody from Iceman's last night. Look, just like Rick said, when I was in Rick's, a bunch of trolls started coming in there and trying to mess up their show. Like, we don't need that to happen. And that happens whenever these people target somebody for for whatever reason or another. And I'm sorry, you were saying, guys, you said it happened in Iceman's Rejected. Well, yeah, it was some guy fishing. I don't know, dude. He threatened to fucking hang me. And uh, Triple T got pretty pissed off That's about it. Up. And it's like, I don't even say things in chat sometimes. It's like, I don't want fucking people to have drama, right? So it's right. like, I'll just shut up. And I'll just watch the show and enjoy it, you know? And it's, Triple T had to stop his show, show this fucking comment about hanging me from a fucking tree and looking for me for a rope from my wheelchair. Like, what the fuck, man? You know, it's like... I just don't get it, man. You know, if, if that's what you guys want to do, let's do it back and forth on our own channels. We shouldn't be going into somebody else's channel and no. <coughs> yeah, you know, I completely I shutting that. them down. I, I don't do that. I mean, uh, yeah, I, norm, I've been in Triple T's, but hell, normally things run really smooth over there. Well, people, dude, people are getting tired of the shit, man. I mean, that's now, why when I, tried I, first... make, I tried to make a truce for Triple T. Because he was like, hey, this has to stop. And that's where I got. Now, when I first started coming on, I did go into other people's lives because there's not a, some some ways to DM some people. So when I'd see somebody in a live, I'd sometimes ask them stuff off topic and people would get mad about that. And I had to learn that, yeah, whenever you come to someone's channel, they want to be focused on what's there. They don't want you to change it or divert it or start drama. Al oh, Bundy, if he's getting that way when he gets mad, he needs anger management, man. We're all grown adults, dude. We can't just be like, oh, I'm mad. I'm going to say some fucked up shit to people. I, I'm sorry if I interrupted you guys again. I thought I was no. doing pretty good. No, I know I've got an issue no, you're with fine, it. No, you're, you're doing fine. good. It's Especially show, compared man. to you, Steve, man. You're doing great. Yeah, it's your show. Yeah. Well, people just keep, I don't know, bringing it up. But I, I, I appreciate you both being here. Um, Filthy, what is your main issue? I think what would be a good question to ask you for the audience and for Rejected. I'm trying to answer it. Uh -huh. um, do, do you want to talk about or expound? Like, do you think, what's your issue with the little people or the little M? I I mean, is well, it? Because I heard you say something about that they tried to get a meal ticket out of Poker Mike or something. Or do you want to clarify that? Because I don't really know everything. Well, uh, okay. I mean, that drug deal that took place, I mean, everybody was wrong in it. But if it I didn't even know it was a drug deal. If it hadn't been for Poker Mike mailing the pills, none of this would have never took place. Well, they all backed Poker Mike but yet they acted like Seth and shooting was the only two bad guys out of this. But, uh, y you know, my real problem with them is intimidation. And I didn't mean that as disrespect by saying the little people guys, sorry, go ahead. Filthy. You know, uh, that's my main problem with them. And they upheld Carolina rebel, you know, whenever he played that song 
you know, he left it up for two damn weeks. Uh, the only one I seen come out and say it was flat out wrong and he couldn't roll with him no more was grind to shine recovery. And, uh, you know, I, I just thought they went about that all wrong. Of course, now they done kicked Rebel out too, I guess. Well, I mean, like, I had reached out to Grind to Shine and talked to him privately because I had wanted him to be, uh, see, this dude tells me to grow the fuck up, dude. You're the one that said I need to be put in the padded room. You grow the fuck up, dude. You're not being allowed on my channel. I don't care who likes you. Um, but Grind to Shine was supposed to be, I was asking him to be a remote sponsor for me because I was trying, still in the process of getting health care. Well, now I I have a counselor and stuff getting all set up and have health care and all that. So I don't need him anymore for that. Right. But when it was, I was trying to allow him to use my stream yard and everything. The same thing I tried to do with black Fox. and it's like, they never wanted to do it. And when they wanted to do it or whatever, they wanted to do it when it maybe would benefit them. Like, I, I don't know. And I tried to be nothing but respectful to him and blow uh, black Fox, and yeah i said a lot of things thinking about doing them when i got angry but i never did them i've never leaked anybody's pictures y'all have taken some of y'all have taken pictures of my grandpa and made a channel called his heart monitor and put a picture of him blowing his birthday candles out with me by the way we share the same birthday and we're blowing the birthday candles out and y'all got his face on the channel you know how fucking sick that is like why y'all want to do that to somebody's family and y'all hide behind anonymous uh, accounts and shit because y'all's pussies, y'all's cowards. That's all I got to say. So it's fil filthy. I got a quick question for yes, you. Yes, sir. So go you ahead. say that uh, with the Carolina rebel thing, you say that nobody handled it. The only person that stopped talking to him was grind. Right. But <laughs> Did, did you see Carolina Rebel actually say the N-word? No, but I, I'm going to tell you the problem. Well, okay, I, okay, let me... I, okay, I got go the ahead. second part to that. Yep, so if you expect other people to stop hanging out with this group, then how come it was okay for Shane to say it in his group and then you guys just stood by his side proudly and didn't say a fucking damn word? Well, the first thing I plainly said, it's not right. Yeah, you, know, you did, but I'm talking that, about everybody else over there. You know, well, you, there's well, tons see, of other people that are like, and you can't keep calling other people racist when you're hanging out with the racist. Well, you know, I, like I said, I run by myself, but the problem I got with Carolina Rebel, he is a drunk, and he wraps himself up in that flag, plays a song like that, and... You know, I, I've been all over the place. I've been to the North Carolina State House when they was taking the flag down. You know, I've been to fucking Gettysburg. I've been everywhere to protect their heritage. And when you've got somebody like that disrespecting it, you know, that one video set us back so far. I mean, these leftists get a hold of something like that, and it portrays us all as a bunch of inbred fucking hicks and you, you know, I I mean, that, that's what upsets me about it. I mean, so, you know, so we can both agree that either one of those videos, if the leftists were to hear it, would take that wrong. Uh, hold on one second. I would think Ford, so. Yes. Hold on one second. Ford for life. Why are you unhiding Mike Crocodile Dundee? Seriously, dude. Please don't unhide people I hide on here. I hid him for a reason. He has talked mad shit about me, and he's never going to – no, uh-uh. If you unhide him again, man, I'm gonna have, I'm sorry to interrupt y'all's conversation yet again, but people keep uh -huh. trying to reverse stuff I do on my channel. Uh -huh. I don't hide people on y'all's channel or unhide them. And I, honestly, if he ha wasn't playing that song uh, and hadn't pulled that stunt – I honestly thought the mask and, you know, the little outfit, I mean, I thought that was a, a cool, you know, I, did too. I mean, I thought it was cool, <laughs> you know, too. and absolutely there's nothing wrong with it at all. But I mean, when you do that and, you know, I've took time off work 
to go to these fucking places. And, you know, I know the only thing he does is sit around and drink beer and play music. He probably wasn't out there on the streets. And, you know, that just set us back. And, you know, that's the problem I had with it. And these people claim to be Creek Squad. I like to call them Weak Squad. Not all. 90% of Creek Squad is good people. But when you got people doing stuff like that, that's not what Creek Squad is about. You know, uh, Creek Squad loves all people. You know, race don't matter, you know. Yeah, that, yeah. You know, it's heritage, not hate you know and i i just you know that that's where it started you know and nobody uh you know i didn't feel like they called him out you know everybody's like well he's not racist he's not this well you know do i believe he's a card carrying member of the clan absolutely not i, I do not believe that but i mean i i just thought he he never even apologized for it you know yeah, he did take the video down though, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, he did. He did do that. Yeah, yeah, he did. So, how do you think we get past all this? So, like, people can hang out with people. See, people want to hang out in Iceman's, right? People want to hang out with Rebel. How do we get past all this calling each other a racist when both sides have a dark side to it? I, honestly, I don't really see the, the sides coming together. I, I think they're too far apart, and this person's mad about that. And this but can't they coexist? Shouldn't they be able to coexist? I think they, I mean, I think it's best people just stay on, you know, just try to stay away from somebody. You know, if I go in somebody's chat, and I see somebody in there that I particularly don't like, you know, I just don't say nothing to them, you know, because, you know, it's no need to say anything on somebody else's channel. Yeah, I hear that. Regan shouldn't have ever got blocked. I didn't block him. I had to block uh, Wacky and stuff because they want to keep unhiding people I hide. This is my channel, you guys. You guys don't get to unhide people just because you're moderators unless y'all ask. Y'all just unhiding people like I won't see it. But I, I really don't think you realize what some of these people has did that's running that name. I, I was gone for, dude, I was gone for a while, dude, and I tried to explain that to everybody. Yeah, the, you could ask uh, everybody in the chat. I was gone for a long time. Man. Right. I mean, Breaking bones isn't easy, man. Somebody has to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I just think there's uh, too much dumb went on. And, I mean, with this deal with Meemaw Deerdorf and all, I mean, it, it's not long until the little motherfuckers ain't going to exist that people's going to quit running that name tag, I think. You don't see me saying anything about that stuff, though. I no, keep my business no. to myself usually, man. Right. No, I, I'll I'm call not out saying some shady you. shit usually, but then I'm done all with right. it, you know? Guys, uh, we have a new guest on the show, Iceman. You're on the panel. Been trying What's to up? talk to you on your chat, uh, man to man and stuff, but you keep blocking me. But you came in, so I'll let you on. Uh, filthy, uh, Iceman's here. Rejected Iceman's here. I see. What's up, Iceman? How you doing? Let me tell you something, Rejected. It ain't my problem that you're in a wheelchair, dude. You made these videos. You made these videos. You know, you tried to twist the narrative on them. You tried to make it out like my dude was a racist. You got tried to he make it out like... He said the N-word, man. He no, said the no. N-word proudly. He might have. He might have, but it was in a private conversation that shouldn't So he's a closet KKK here. member, right? He it's okay he to say it privately? That's what you're saying? No, dude. It wasn't even used like that in that manner. It Dude, he tried to come off to me like he was in a prison thing, but that's the past. Let's forget it. Like Shane's apologized, rejected. Attitude. He said it was an attitude. He didn't. He said it wasn't a color. He said it was afterwards. After, after yeah, afterwards, he did say that. It's still offensive, man. The next sentence. I did. I I hit Jackie. If you played that next sentence, then people would have realized he wouldn't be in racist about it. I, oh, I did. I did that, play it. I, uh, I yeah. did play it. Yeah, I've explained see, that that's, to how, that's how motherfuckers twist the motherfucking narrative. No, see, Iceman, you're trying to twist the narrative. I got oh, that you video. Did. You no, did. I played that video, speak. fuck boy. Let me speak, Iceman. Hey, you calm down. Speak. Don't be calling people names, man. 
We ain't calling so, you nothing, man. We're here to talk civilly. We're here to squash I'm stuff. I'm here to be called a liar either, motherfucker. I'm not We're not calling you a liar. You a liar. I'm trying to work things out with you, Ice Man, but you just don't want to do it. Uh, well, you know, Square shouldn't have put that video up unless he put the whole video of what he said I, after he said that. And when you well, first put it up, it, it wasn't a whole complete video. And they took it. They the took first, it, they the first, it, they run with it. They made him out like he was a racist. He was running with me. I was a racist. You know, I didn't correct him for saying that. You know, dude, dude, he said that, and then about ten minutes later, he said the second part. That was in a Facebook Messenger series. That's why the second part wasn't on there. That's why when it when it was asked, that's I put the rest of it rush. on there. That's why people and don't I, and, trust you. That's why. Oh, people that's why people, people don't trust you. That's well, right, that, well, that's that, that, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I done gave. I done gave. I done. I done gave. You don't have. Oh uh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I just. I just. I just talked to Shane. I just talked. Hold on. No, hold on. I'm talking right now. I talked to Shane. I gave him five fucking chances, Ice Man. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You don't fucking have a conversation with somebody in confidence and then fucking turn around and then fucking drop a motherfucker. Confidence. Motherfucker. Confidence. Yeah. And confidence. I held yeah. that conversation for six no. for five for four months and he you kept talking shit about me when I was taking up for him. I finally told him that I was gonna reveal his true self and he you said that shit lying is. because you know he tried to is. you know what confidence is. Oh, you know what is? confidence is. You know what confidence is? Yeah, people have violated anything that I thought was confidential, too. So have you. So I don't oh, want to hear that, man. We all Con have. We ain't talking about no confidentiality, but when you... It, it's kind of like that. It's like if me and Filthy <laughs> have a conversation over In there, my state, I am a legal party to any conversation. I can record it, and I can uh, play it for the world, uh, whether you don't right, like it or not. Make you a snitch. I mean, oh, it makes me a snitch. Well, you right. know what? If I if I hadn't recorded my ex girlfriend admitting the cops knew she had damaged my vehicle, I wouldn't have the truth that there's corruption in this place where I live. So you uh, can take that and shove it up your ass, dude, because I ain't no snitch. A snitch is when somebody's in trouble and they got to get out of trouble. Officer, didn't you? Um, you were, you were told by me, by other people, you already know the story that you had an underage person in your chat talking the way you were. I take that shit very serious. You I damn right. I got some underage people in your chat right now. Uh, if I do, they're not supposed to be here and it's I'm not talking like, and I'm, and I'm not talking like you do. Well, Square, I mean, if it was somebody, have you ever seen a PG 13 movie? I mean, they do use some bad language in that movie. I know, yeah. and I'm trying to go forth going forward. I realize Iceman is not as bad as he's been made. Look, Iceman, you ought to know that I've been manipulated heavily by a lot of people. None of y'all, real. I, I've explained that I have that issue mentally. and oh, I definitely you know, believe you've been manipulated. I mean, I... I mean, I, I mean, I your friends that. taking up for that claim. I'm not making it up, Ice Man. I was told that you was a bad deal. There's been a lot of bad people come on here, predators and everything. I'm a member of a predator hunting channel. So when I was told you had an underage person over there, yeah, that sent the hairs on my back up. You feed into people. No man. offense. I think you no. I, you yeah, should have sort of confirmed it. Uh, I should have. I should have came and talked to you. You're right. Maybe before so or something, but I got caught up in the heat of the moment. I apologize. There. You know, do you, do you, know you accept it or not? You either gonna accept my apology, Ice Man, or not? I mean it. Do you accept my apology know, or not? I want to know what I want to know is. What I want to know is why would you put yourself in that situation? Why would you put yourself in a situation? Where I don't want to put myself in that situation. It just fell on my lap. I was streaming. No, I was streaming. Now, I was now what it is, you want to back up. You want to back up. You want to back up and act like, oh, I'm not saying, that's man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You think that way is the way it works in the real world when you motherfuckers make it about some real world shit? Uh, I know how it works in the real world. People either accept your apologies or they don't. I know how it works in the real world. I know how it works in jail. I know how it works out on the street and stuff. Dude, you either accept my apology or you don't. 
you wouldn't accept it, would you? Yes, I would. Oh, if wouldn't. I thought that you, if, yeah, if I thought if you legit brother, thought I was doing something wrong, yes, I would. I've accepted a lot of people's apology on here. Don't even say I wouldn't. How many times you motherfuckers think my probation officers contacted me? Didn't you just say yesterday? It ain't because you were going to call. It ain't because of me. How do you? Oh, it ain't. Is that, isn't that snitching? But yeah, you know, yeah, you uh, yeah. And you and, and you were advertising Black Pox's employer place, telling people to call it. So, he, dude, he, you're you're. <laughs> he fucking put it out there himself, motherfucker. I was just trying to make you happy, make some sandwiches. So he put the phone number himself out and told no, his subs to call. No, no, but he put his fucking business no, name out did. here, motherfucker. You did. He put his business name out here. On yeah, Steve's but you put live. the business name and the phone number in your chat scrolling across saying to call Sean's work. Hey, man, that was how, that, how, What do you think that, that happens? That gets a man fired, dude. Like, that can get 63 people in here and 15 likes. Mod, y'all aren't dude, doing y'all's I mean, job. What? You called my probation officer. What? You ain't you're threatening, dude, like him you're fired? threatening to call Fusion School yesterday when you brought his kid into it. So you admitted you were a fucking snitch yesterday. I'm not a snitch. No. Okay, so no. you're going to call a school and be like, hey, there's an online fucking altercation. What do you think that is, Iceman? Well, no, you, you got to no. realize. Fusion. Look, nobody should be calling their outside world stuff. We don't want to no, do shouldn't. that as channel you creators. Be calling the PO. You shouldn't be calling fucking schools. You shouldn't well, be you, bringing kids in. I'll it. tell you what. I'll tell you what. Let me give you a line little fella used. Let me give you a line little fella used. Hey, you remember this line, Squire? Hey, God forgives outlaws don't. Okay, well, listen, Iceman. I, I, I was that. told something that made me genuinely concerned. I didn't do it to fuck with you, dude. I didn't do it out of hatred. I didn't do line. it to mess. Let me no, let me. Line. No, will you let, are you dude? I'm, one, are you ready for that one? Per- I, was gonna say, I muted you. Me. I muted you because you're gonna either listen to me, Ice Man, or you're gonna leave. I'm gonna unmute you, dude. But seriously, I didn't do it out of hatred to you or nothing. I got you on my stream here, trying to talk civilly with you. <laughs> No, I'm not an outlaw. I'm not going to pretend like I'm an outlaw. If you don't want to forgive me, that's fine. But you need to know the full truth. And just like you also know, I was told that that was a minor and I was told to call. Now, yes, was it my own choice? Yes. Should I have checked further? Probably. Did I? No. In hindsight, do I wish I wasn't involved at all? Yes. And I apologize. And you either accept that man and take it or you don't. And now I'm going to unmute you. Well, you know what, Ian Wilson? I don't have to accept the fuck all. Okay. Big, big, big. Okay. My name is Ian Wilson. Good job. Good job, Nathaniel Witt. Yeah, you know me. But what are you going to do with it, fuck boy? What are you going to do with it, <laughs> fuck boy? <laughs> oh, that's funny to y'all. Yeah, yeah I mean, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, I thought it wasn't I thought it wasn't funny, rejected. Well, you would uh, laugh, buddy. If you would have been third person, it would have been funny to you. Yeah, it's nothing. It was nothing against you, it, man. It was <laughs> It was just kind of funny how you both went down the path. It was it was like a cartoon in a way, man. It was kind of funny. Man. Yeah, but uh, like I said, he's going to bitch off and run, but he don't well, unblock he me from his things. chat. He don't let me on his panel. Yeah, he won't answer things. It's like I'm so really trying. Now he's got his apology. And uh, Iceman, if you don't take those videos down me or nothing, I will go at your channel now. Now I will go at you for community guidelines and all fair use the whole thing because you do a lot of stuff of uploading other people's stuff well me and so, him are going to be going at it because i mean i've tried to talk to him a ton it's like every time he he brings up points but when you try to bring up a point to make him understand why you went after him like i went after him because he called triple t a rapist in one of his videos and put it as a fucking uh a screenshot right so that's no, see, why not everybody, that. not but everybody has about that, you know. Not everybody has a real name. Like these two have their anonymity protected, and I want it to stay protected. But, but Ice I've Man and people like so him, already. they'll, they'll dox. You could find me. They'll dox me. You know. 
Well, Square, I think they did everything they could do to you. Same with Iceman. You know, it's nothing left to, to dox, honestly. Like, well, there was nothing ever at two docks. What, some traffic tickets and right. a misdemeanor right. possession of marijuana charge? Like, some right. things that were yeah. that I got arrested for that was dropped? Like, Ghost posting that video earlier today of me getting pulled over by that cop. That was the same cop that gave me the DUI charge I beat. And he pulled me over after I had gotten the charge and I was working. And if y'all seen the video, I, I show my hair, I hold it up, I look straight at him. And uh, he lets me immediately go. That was a stop, an intimidation stop. And all that happened 13 days after I uploaded the video to Facebook showing our chief of police acting like a threatening asshole towards me ab about some cases that I had turned in that somebody had uh, broken the law against me. And, you know, I tried to handle it the right way because that was the way I was told to handle it, which isn't the way my dad and everybody else told me to handle it. And it didn't work. And I got pissed off because the dude sat right behind me in court and threatened me. So I went in there and the chief police went off and I had a videotaped it. I videotaped it unlike Johnny Goble would. And people were trying to say, I'm like Johnny Goble, da, 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 da. Like, no, I'm not. I've got a video of my ex-girlfriend admitting the cops were dirty here. You know, I live in a small town police department. They're dirty. Well, that dude, Ghost, man, he's good at what he does. He finds shit no, that he's nobody not. finds. He, he was here for a long time, and he just got access to my Facebook and some videos and stuff, and he just held on to them, and then he's just now posting them. Some of them, they used to be public on my own page, and he just got uh, them and was just waiting on posting them. He's I was going to say, good. I've seen stuff from him that, you know, I've not ever seen anywhere else. Oh, yeah, he, he, he makes sure to hold the rare stuff and wait, and, yeah, he's good at how he does that. <laughs> the rare stuff, yeah. <laughs> For Jessica Clowns, but you know, man, I ain't never had no issue with you either, dude. No, I and I don't think you've well. ever made issues with me. And I only made that video about Shane not to be a snitch like uh, Iceman likes to call me. And people really need to stop throwing that word around because right. if you're going to call people a snitch, and there's a lot of other people that need to be identified as that too. So now, I, if you want... Now, all I did was take a, uh, a, I gave this dude multiple warnings to stop messing with me and just leave me alone entirely. He acted like he was cool. Shane did that back and forth about four or five times. I finally released that recording because I said, dude, all right, then you want to make me look like an idiot and stuff to the world. I'll make right. you look like an idiot. And that's well, why I did it. And well, I'm not saying that was right. I'm yeah. not saying I was right uh, morally. Uh, I honestly, but I was legally. Right. I honestly feel if you talk to somebody in private, you shouldn't record it. It and wasn't so recorded, Al Bundy. It was a messenger audio file. Shane sent it to me, and once he sent it to me, it became my property. Right. But I, I still feel it was done in private, even though what he said it was right. It was. Uh, and the only problem I have, like with Mr. Clown, he, he put his video up. Well, he didn't have the full thing of it. What you first put up made him look as bad as possible. Sort of like when I put Black Spock's record up. I put up that it was dismissed. You know, I could have put it. Yeah, I that's, that's it. what, uh, what's I, his name said? Carolina I, Cowboy said all that was dismissed. Is that true? What's the, I, what's the I, deal I, on Parks? I want to know. Everything since he's talked all about me. Everything was dismissed except for assault. If you go back and, and pause it, you can see that. And I could have clipped it to where it didn't show that. But I wanted, you know, the truth is the truth. And it would be wrong to put up a video exactly. and make him and, look and like people, he was convicted of all that. When and, and I didn't. And what it was was my Facebook thing was so long with Shane that I didn't know that next audio message was relevant. Yeah, All I knew was that was relevant. And I went back and I, and I, and they asked me to check to show the whole thing. And I went back and I said, and I listened to the couple of audio messages before and after. And I said, okay, that one is relevant. The one right after. Right. And I posted it too. 
because this guy, I, I mean, I don't think but he's that, ever got to hear the complete message, maybe, you know. But and, regardless of him saying that, you know, I think there's white and black, whatever, he still said that same thing at first because, like, I think he wanted me to think, like, he was a badass. He also told me later on that he was crazy and he's got every diagnosis in the book and he'd kill a motherfucker and shit. Like, <laughs> he was trying to scare the shit out of me or something. I don't know what it was. And people was telling him back then not to, not to trust me. So Iceman's thing about no one trust me because I'm a snitch. I, I've never recorded JG. I've talked to Johnny Goble a bunch of times. I've never recorded Grind to Shine. I've never recorded Creek. I, there's a bunch of people that have talked to me that knows I've never recorded them. Because if I had, it would have already been posted. Yeah, I, I think you gave your number to way too many people, Square. Yeah, I, that, I did. Not, not I, I did. I did him. because I wanted them to know that I wasn't gonna mess. Like I didn't every. I didn't even know you, there was text now exist until May, bro. Well, I, I didn't know. Hey guys, can I say something June. real quick? Cause my phone's go about ahead. to die. Yeah, go ahead, man. All right. Sorry, so, man. Uh, the video. Oh, no problem. The video was Shane that I made. I made that video because they were calling everybody else racist, right? So it's like, if right. you're going to be saying the N-word, then I'm going to show everybody that you're saying the N-word. It wasn't necessarily to make him look bad, right? If you watched a video where Iceman is mad about, it's kind of a uh, skit, right? I've he never goes, seen Who? it. Yeah. I'll, so he I'll goes, check it out. So he goes, who's, who's, who's the one saying the racist word, right? And then you hear a keyboard click, and then it goes to a different video. Iceman thinks I made it seem like it was on his live and I was manipulating it. It wasn't manipulated. Shane right. said to Edward, he apologized for it, but he also says in that same sentence, oh, I was in there with a pod of 30 guys, 20 of them were black, I whooped three of their asses, and then says to Edward. So to <laughs> me, so to yeah. me, like I said, you said it was an idiot move, I said it was uh, an idiot I, move, I agree. but yeah. the video was made to show if you're going to call people racist and you have somebody in the background saying the n-word and then they have an excuse for it of oh it was in the privacy right. it was never made to manipulate Sh shane or ice man it was it's a it would be just you would have did it too filthy if you were on the other side uh, i know I, you would have man i think you got to <laughs> oh I'm getting ready to put out one of uh, uh, Hooten dropping the end. Hey, did they yesterday? Did they but, manipulate the video of you filthy, or was that true? Were you on Iceman stream and did you like go uh, to the bathroom or they something? They did that. Yeah, they did that. But hell, so I that's care. not I you. Made, I made a video of it anyway. So I mean, I mean it, it, was funny. it sounded like it sounded like <laughs> you did go to sleep, but I wondered if that fart noise was real or added. Oh, I did fall asleep, yeah. But the fart noise was added for real? Yeah. Because that was a bad case of diarrhea. <laughs> but that's why I made that video of Little Feller that I was shitting all over him. But, uh, yeah, I think you got the right to make any video you want uh, uh, rejected. Yeah. But, but these biz guys that are about, like, people's dogs that have dogs or whatever, peanut butter and stuff like that's borderline like on the sexual like fringes uh joke and not even joking it's just sick like an ice man tried to say it was bestiality like that i kiss my dog i don't kiss my dog i kiss him on the top of his head sure but i don't kiss him on his lips the hell is he talking about i mean he's your dog you know do whatever you want square I mean, uh, uh, well, no, I, I don't I, do anything I want. I do what well, any I, dog owner does. I don't right. do anything weirder than that. And, you know, the suggestion of I it else is that. just ludicrous. Yeah. I, I well, a lot of y'all have kind of subtext it with those peanut butter things. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to say I haven't made some with peanut butter, you know. Do you, you like know, at, peanut butter? I mean, you don't. No, I really don't. And, and he don't either. Like, I've given it to him on treats, filled it up. There's, you know, you fill it up with treats. Some of his treats are flavored with that. But, I mean, he don't. Like, I, I feed him a strict whole food diet that I get from Spot and Tango. And I, like, not only that, his bed is a $100 bed. Like, I take care of that dog because he is being trained to be a service dog. Like that dog is not a cheap investment. 
he is expensive. And I rescued him from basically the hood when he was, he had no freaking collar, ribs, bony as shit. And I was walking back to my car and he uh, yelped at me. And he, you know, he, he came right to me, you know, just all of a sudden. Herbal don't get no wrench, y'all, and y'all know better. Uh, well, what is that? Did y'all have any? Did y'all have any questions to ask me? Reject the clouds or filthy? Y'all want to ask me any questions to clear some things up? Because people seem to think that. All right. Well, I've cleared up the drug addict thing. If y'all don't now, some of y'all may still think I'm illegal, or they, some people call them legal addicts. What what my doctor has told me is the difference is there's active addiction and then there's active dependence. And anybody that's on any type of uh, med uh, daily, whether it's blood pressure, pit medicine, a narcotic, et cetera, they're on active dependence to a uh, chemical uh, substance they take if it's prescribed or what, you know. Now, active addiction is when you're on something that's not prescribed and you will do whatever to get it they and swear. keep it. You got to look at it this way, man. I've been taking pain pills off and on my whole life. Like I said, I break bones for a living. Uh, you're still dependent on it, man. Uh, uh, you still I know I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an active it, dependent. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I will get sick. Don't give what people yeah. say, man. You know, you need to not care But that's care the about thing. I don't. I hear that's the thing. I've gotten to the point. But that's the point, man. I've gotten to the point where I don't even have to take my third one every day. I've gotten to where I'm able to save my third one. And when I get yeah. tested random and when I get tested randomly soon and get my pill count, I'll have a 17 page report and I'm going to put it up here on YouTube and redact it. And then all you guys will be able to see that I do everything right. I, and I would, you, can't, I would, you can't make any questions. I wouldn't give them the fucking pleasure swear. Because yep. people's people's going to think. Well, even you, even you've questioned my I, sobriety, I mean, honestly, and I understand why. I mean, I, I do understand why. I shouldn't have streamed at the times I did. Hey, we got another guest, you guys. Uh, well, Red Reapers on here. Oh God! There we think, go. I just think what's going on, Square. Hey, Red Red, Burr, what's up, Red you Red blocked Red? me on Instagram, but that's all right. I deleted my Instagram. I need to make a new one. Oh, dude, I've been pretty busy and all that kind of stuff. What's going on, Rejected Clouds? How you doing, man? No, I know you blocked me. I'm still That's sick. Right. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, but, yeah, Filthy, uh, the reason why I want to do it, it, it's not for their satisfaction, but I, I asked my doctor to put me, because since I've been home for two years, no, it's the truth, and, like, MC made it a, a point. That it doesn't mean anything. All it means is that they've trusted me the last two years. Yeah, I haven't been tested or anything, but I've asked to be actively blood drawn and, and have my meds counted. They'll give me 30 minutes to get up there and count the meds and take my blood, and they'll be able to tell if I'm taking the right type of medicine, whether or not I'm selling it or getting rid of it or what have you, and uh, if I've got the right amount in my bottle at the time. And once I pass that test, then y'all can't say shit because that's four years of sobriety with two years of non-supervision. So that's pretty damn good. Yeah. If you're just done, saying, if you down to two, maybe you can get down to one, man. I mean, the thing is my doctor, when she sent me over here with my bridge script, my addiction medicine doctor, the one that first put me on the subox, the suboxone, she said that, because of your uh, diagnoses and your chronic pain, you're probably going to need to take this the rest of your life. She said it's going to be really hard for you to taper down off this. She says it's doable. She says that the thing is you can't take NSAIDs, and she's right. I can't. So that, that sulfa and penicillin are three of the drugs I'm allergic to. So the only other thing I can take for pain is Tylenol, and I already take the max amount of it each day. So I don't take all three of the sub sub subutex, but uh, yeah, I try to sometimes just see if I can go without only just taking one filthy. And some days I've gotten past it, and other days I don't. I usually got to take two. 
but <laughs> because see, I can get sick and I can go into convulsions just from the fact that I have panic attacks and I'm also on a benzodiazepine. <laughs> what in the world's that? What's that? Dude? It's a uh, Ativan. It's for my panic attacks. Oh. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm. Uh, See, I'm given three of those, two milligrams, three times a day, but I only usually take two of those also, and I don't take them scheduled. I wait until I get so nervous and shaky and anxious that I take it. You know, it's almost like I start shaking almost like an alcoholic, but it's not because I'm addicted. I've never had a problem with benzos. I know a lot of people that do. And that's why a lot of people criticize me because they say, well, you're not supposed to be on uh, Suboxone with benzos. And my doctor told me well, you can be if those other medicines don't work. And I was put on all the other meds before they put me on Ativan and tried them. And there goes Red Reaper. Why? I don't know. Huh. I'm trying to talk about some of my shit. And I understand, Red Eye, you think she's full of shit, but she didn't lie because, like, Man, you guys aren't in my body. I weigh 150 pounds. Did you want to say something reject the clowns or filthy? I don't want to act like I'm talking too much because it's not uh, fucking. Uh, I mean, I mean Red I, I think, dropping off made me feel weird. I think I'm going to jump off. Uh, you and reject it. Have a good night and uh, just. Stay oh, Red on Reaper's course. back. Just stay on course, Square, and don't let nobody get you off course, man. And you got to just no, watch man. these people. Listen, I'm going to, even if it's a video about me, I'll do a reaction to it fairly if there's something good in it or not. There's some of these videos that are funny, but, you know, well, we're rejected. You know, he didn't have to go nowhere. Um, but, you know, then a lot of other of them, they cross the line like filthy. I understand like why you hide your identity. Like you don't want people making vids about like, you know, your family or stuff like people don't want that stuff. Like the videos people are making about me. Don't y'all understand that y'all wouldn't want them made about you. Otherwise you wouldn't hide behind the names you had behind. Even the ones of you that show your face and stuff, that still doesn't make it any e easier to find your identity. Like, I don't have the time to crop your picture and put it in Google Images and find you, you know? I just don't. Like, I'm just trying to have a YouTube channel and get along with everybody. And that includes everybody. Now, if Iceman don't want to get along, that's up to him. Red Reaper, do you got anything you want to say to Filthy Animal before he leaves? I think he's about to leave. Yeah. Um, how about this, Filthy? If there's a problem, how about we talk privately about the problem? Does that sound fair to you? Well, uh, you guys, I can. I mean, I think we might all want to talk privately. Y'all, if I, I can end the stream and we can all still be on here and talk, and then I can leave and let y'all have it. No, I, I really ain't got nothing to say to Reaper. Anything I'd say, I just want everybody to hear. So, I mean, if you got something to say, go ahead and say it. I just feel that, uh, you know, y'all have got so many double standards. I mean, you know, it's okay for so-and-so to post a criminal record, but when I do it, you know, it's, every, you know, even with Square, I mean, uh, People's gave him a rough time over stuff people do every day on here. Mm -hmm. um, as far as double standards and all that, you believe what you want to believe, but I believe what I want to believe. That could be said about well, certain guys, We don't want to believe nothing. But see, we want to get to knowing because belief means you think it's that way. You don't know. Well, everybody's got their own opinion, and uh, my opinion on you is you don't really take a firm stance on nothing, and, you know, I mean, it's like you're all over the place uh, with it. I mean, I really don't know what to make of it. That's that's the reason that I want to talk to you, and by the way, as far as the um, <clears throat> you were talking about little MF Feller and all them, I got I got a video that they were talking shit about me just before uh, 
Bird spilled the tea about the whole package deal. Right, right. Well, that, and yep. I'm playing my head. I'm playing my hand, fil- uh, filthy. Well, I hope you are, man. Yeah, play it out well. Yeah, because uh, you know you can't trust them people. I mean, and it's not everybody with the little L map in front of their name. It's just only a handful of them. But uh, I just felt like uh, Seth and Straight Shooting got the worst end of that deal. And it was Poker Mike that actually, you know, if he hadn't sent it, none of this would happen. And uh, mm-hmm. they they say, see, they don't know. I had an inside tip of somebody that was in with them that was feeding me information poker mike's acting like that he wasn't getting nothing out of that deal well he was going to get a laptop out of it that was going to be his part i mean he he was he was going to get he acts like he was just doing it for sap and shooting and you you know they just wasn't honest about it and i just think they shouldn't have made that first video trying to intimidate shooting i mean hell with what was in that package i would have just cut my losses man you know i'd been scared of going to jail well i mean well dang where did squared go but anyways i understand that um little mf fella threatened ice i mean it's going back to double standards and all that kind of stuff. The same thing could be said about the other side too. You see what I'm saying? I see exactly what you're saying, but, uh, you know, I, I, I don't mean, have, I, I'm only at war with the little wheel maps. I mean, honestly, I mean, that's who, you know, I'm after, you know, I'm, I'm trying to take them one by one. I mean, well, I don't have a, I don't have a problem with a few the um, little motherfuckers. Yeah, and it's but not other, all of them. No, it's not yeah. all of them. Yeah, and as far as you know, I've actually said that you know Carolina Rebel was wrong for playing that song. I mean, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I mean that's good. I'm I'm glad you feel that way because I mean it was pretty terrible, you know. <laughs> But uh, because I know what I know what the Confederate flag stands for. I know I know it stands for individual rights, states' rights. That's right. Yep. yep. And rebellion and all that kind of stuff. I, yep. Believe me, I know. Right. Uh, that is what yeah. it stands for. But met people, some people, especially the freaking liberals, they misconstrue things. They twist things around for their. There you benefit. are rejected. Thought where you went. Yeah, they they definitely, uh, you know, twist it around and try to make the flag look like it's something it's not. Like, I'll tell you up front, Filthy, um, I'm a libertarian. I believe in individual individual rights, individual freedoms. I believe everybody, see, my beliefs are, you know, it says unalienable rights in the Declaration of Independence that that means rights cannot be taken away. Now, you have people out there saying that rights can be taken away. Bullshit. I don't agree with that. Yeah, I don't agree with that. I mean, I don't like the Republicans. I don't like the Democrats. I did like Trump, you know, because uh, I sort of felt like he wasn't either of those. He was sort of an outsider. Uh, but, yeah, I, I mean, I yep. I don't like either party, really. They screwed us over in every way they could, you know. Well, your your it's opinion a- on Trump is just your opinion, and that's okay. And, you know, am I going to sit here and say that I like Trump or dislike Trump? No. My opinion about that, I'm going to stay out of that, quite honestly. Right, but, right. But, you know. Now you want to stay <clears> out of it, okay. And maybe, you know, that's part of the reason why you think I'm all over the place. Maybe there's some, some things. Some people just don't like to talk about politics. No offense. I mean, that's well, just how they are. I, well, Square, you know I like to talk about certain types of politi- uh, politics. Like, like you believe, rights. I know you believe, I know you believe in patriotism and the Constitution, and that's all the type of yeah. American I need to know about you that I respect. Uh, you like I Rand don't give a Paul? shit about your politics. 
Yeah, I love Rand Paul and Ron you? Paul. How about you, Reaper? <sighs> Come on, Reaper. You know that they're good guys, regardless. I don't know of... much about them, but I can tell you, I can't stand Marco Rubio because he wanted. Uh, red flag laws to be put in place. I can't stand people like that. Marco Rubio is a fence rider, and he is one of those uh, GOP Republicans. He's one of the ones that are going to swing whichever way the GOP swings. Yeah, I I thought... You mean Republicans in name only? Yeah, yeah. You mean Republicans in name only? Rhinos. Well, well, yeah. Well, old school. He's not old school. He's a... He's a new school Ryan, Reno, Rhino, but uh, people like uh, Rand and Ron that uh, know that the, the issue lies mainly in our currency and with our government, they need to be protected at all costs. We need more senators and people that are going to run for office like them because that's the only way we're ever going to get it get better economic stability. Uh, Joe Biden is ruining our country economically. It is being ruined all year long. I don't know if y'all have noticed, but shit is going off the wall in price. We need term limits. Yeah, I agree with well, that. Yeah. I mean, I agree with that too, but I mean, but let, let me we be also clear. Need to make it, we also need to make it to where, like, they're wanting to make it to where constitutional amendmenting is easier. No, that's how you there's a reason that stuff is supposed to be hard. So you can't change the constitution, but you go ahead, red. Sorry. Well, in order to change the constitution, what you have to have is the convention of States, right? C- correct me if yeah, I'm and wrong. Two, and, a, and a two thirds a majority and all types of stuff. Yeah. It takes a lot and they want to make that shorter. And do you believe that's going to happen anytime in my lifetime, your lifetime or filthy's lifetime, or even, Rejected clones. The way, lifetime. The what? The way? <laughs> uh, have you have you not seen Kamala Harris? Like, look, Kamala Harris is in office mainly because so if Joe Biden gets in a specific state, she can take over. That's why she's in office. If y'all don't believe that, I mean, well, like, she <laughs> is a former prosecutor, and her whole stance, like, she is a globalist. She's went to the meetings. She's been photographed there, Adam, been on their rosters. I've checked. Uh, like, I check out the Bilderberg meetings and all that different type of stuff. And I'm not a conspiracy theorist or anything, but if you don't think that there's a global elite that runs stuff, then I don't know what to tell you. Well, I'm just basically on here and saying, like, we're supposed to be a community, right? Yeah, there's some things I've done wrong. I'm not going to fucking uh, say I haven't done that. Some messed up things. If I messed around with the, uh, you know, if I said some questionable things about Square or this person or that person, yeah. But the same thing could be said about others. So in really reality, I guess we're all hypocrites in some sense. In a lot of ways. Well, I mean, definitely Fusion has been here lately with how he's been with me, like him calling me that day and acting like, you know, that he got the same text message as me. He didn't get the same text message as me. He texted me from a text now number. Like, well, that's he had between, to. That's and, between. I That's know between it's between me and, and Fusion, but it's not between me and him because me and him got nothing else to talk about. Like now that I know he lives.